Space exploration is heating up, and a key conflict is emerging between SpaceX and the FAA. It's not about technology or space race supremacy, but about the bureaucracy of launch licenses. Recently, after weeks of waiting on permits, SpaceX has had enough. They're turning to Congress, urging them to push the FAA to speed up the license issuance process. If successful, this could put significant pressure on the FAA. Let's break this down further. But before we do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates on Starship and other space news. Here's the drama. SpaceX feels like its programs are fighting for the FAA's attention. They fear that their ambitious Starship program, which plays a key role in NASA's Artemis mission to the moon, might face delays because of these holdups. SpaceX has launched over 70 rockets this year alone, roughly once every four days, setting a pace that's not just groundbreaking, but also challenging to keep up with. As impressive as this frequency is, the company's concerns lie elsewhere. Beyond the impressive launches, the Falcon 9 and Dragon programs are also contending with FAA delays. While SpaceX values the FAA's role, the prevalent sentiment is that the regulatory body needs to become more adaptive. The underlying tension isn't just about rapid launches or novel spacecrafts. SpaceX's vice president conveyed his apprehension regarding the FAA's sluggish pace, especially in the wake of rapid advancements in the private sector. Starship has already tasted the bitterness of this regulatory hurdle. Its orbital launch test earlier this year was cut short after the massive rocket experienced malfunctions, leading to its deliberate destruction. The aftermath wasn't just a damaged rocket and launch pad, but also mandated an FAA investigation that culminated in SpaceX being tasked with 63 corrective actions. The aftershocks of this event still resonate, with environmental groups filing lawsuits concerned about the repercussions of such tests. Though SpaceX claims to have fulfilled all required actions, the road ahead for Starship remains bumpy. An FAA statement indicated a potential conclusion of their safety review by October's end. However, an added wrinkle has surfaced in the form of an environmental review involving the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, potentially pushing the timeline further. This delay might be at the heart of Musk's evident agitation. In a recent Twitter post, he drew attention to the stark contrast between SpaceX's rapid advancements and the seemingly slow response from the U.S. fish and wildlife officials regarding the review after the Starship launch in April. His comment, It's crazy that SpaceX can build such a big rocket faster than they can review some papers, vividly illustrates the company's exasperation, emphasizing the disconnect between their rapid progress and the drawn-out pace of regulatory processes. SpaceX's main complaint is about how long it takes to get launch licenses. Even after spending two years preparing for the first Starship launch permit, they're still waiting for more. This increased scrutiny wasn't isolated. It aligned with broader concerns, especially from NASA, SpaceX's primary investor for the Lunar Lander project. NASA expressed growing apprehension over whether the Lunar Lander variant of SpaceX's Starship would be prepared in time for the scheduled Artemis III mission in late 2025. The sheer volume of work required to get the vehicle mission ready seemed daunting. Jim Free, NASA's associate administrator, highlighted this. He pointed out that the eagerly awaited Artemis III, which promises the first human lunar landing in over 50 years, might face a delay. Instead of the initial December 2025 timeline, the mission could be pushed to sometime in 2026. A significant part of NASA's concern revolved around the number of Starship launches SpaceX must execute to gear up for Artemis III. Each lunar mission involving the Starship lander doesn't just require the launch of the lander itself. Multiple tanker Starships are also needed to refuel the lander in Earth's orbit before it embarks on its journey to the moon. Compounding the challenge, before the Artemis III mission, SpaceX has committed to an uncrewed Starship lunar landing demonstration. Additionally, they must showcase the cryogenic fluid transfer in Earth orbit. All these necessary milestones accentuate the apprehensions regarding the timely readiness of SpaceX's Starship for the critical Artemis III mission. Musk has often expressed his discontent with the FAA, even going as far as to breach license agreements in the past. 
A notable instance of this tension surfaced in early 2021, when SpaceX decided to push ahead with a test launch of its Starship SN9 vehicle in Boca Chica, Texas, without having secured the necessary safety waiver from the FAA. When the vehicle exploded upon landing, it attracted considerable media attention and subsequently brought about swift regulatory scrutiny. The FAA immediately initiated an investigation into the unauthorized launch. For SpaceX, there were direct consequences. The FAA required SpaceX to halt Starship test flights until the investigation was complete and imposed stricter oversight on subsequent test flights. This meant additional reviews, longer wait times, and increased scrutiny for SpaceX's subsequent launches. Furthermore, the incident prompted the FAA to take a closer look at SpaceX's safety culture. You might be wondering why is the delay of Starship a big deal? Well, the world is watching. As SpaceX faces these hiccups, space programs in countries like China are gaining momentum. The stakes are high for the U.S. to maintain its leadership in space exploration. Their congressional hearing is on the horizon where SpaceX will share its concerns. One of SpaceX's top guys, William Gerstenmaier, will be laying it all out, hoping for some guidance on streamlining processes. SpaceX's request to the FAA is straightforward. While ensuring safety is essential, there's a need for more flexibility. Failures are a part of innovation, especially with groundbreaking projects. They should have some room to navigate these challenges. Moreover, when we're talking about Starship, the largest rocket ever conceived, there's a strong argument for providing added leeway to facilitate its development. This becomes even more pressing when you consider SpaceX's ambitious goals, aiming to launch around 90 rockets this year and even more in the following year. SpaceX foresees a looming challenge for the FAA as the skies grow crowded. With multiple companies venturing into space, from rockets to space tourism, the FAA has a lot to handle. Even now, SpaceX's Falcon and Dragon programs often find themselves vying for regulatory attention. Recognizing the bottleneck, SpaceX suggests bolstering the FAA's resources. They believe quicker hiring and more personnel could streamline processes. To expedite this, SpaceX has even proposed funding third-party technical assistance to reinforce the FAA's capabilities. SpaceX isn't just thinking about themselves, they're looking at the bigger picture. They believe projects of national importance, like landing humans on the moon again, should get special attention. Right now, with the FAA treating every project the same, crucial missions like the Starship could face unnecessary delays. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.